So we have all of these possible options along the curve of how much uh, like to allocate between health and everything else, non-health utility. Uh, and so a person who values both of those things, both health and everything else, is going to choose a point between C and E to maximize their utility. Uh, and again, because C maximizes Z uh, and E maximizes H. So if you like them both, you want something in between. Now, the same thing as the traditional production possibilities curve, the outer bound of this semicircle traces what is possible. Whether you prefer health or fun, you're going to want to maximize your utility and, and then allocate it between one or the other. Um, but either way, you're going to want to pick a point along the outside of this curve. Otherwise, you're leaving utility on the table. Nobody wants to do that. So um, U of zero, let's say the person likes F. Let's say the person likes F somewhere in between the two, between C and E. Uh, U of zero is falls inside of the curve, so it represents leaving utility on the table. U of one, it is tangential. It's the point where the individual's indifference curve is tangential to the outside of the of the production possibilities curve. So that means that it's laying right outside of what is possible, uh, right along the maximum uh, pos level of possible utility. Uh, so that's going to be their optimal point. U of two, U two represents what is beyond the possibility, production possibility for the individual, so it's not possible. So that point F, that tangential point between the outside of the production possibilities curve and the indifference curve um, will be the optim optimal level for H and for Z. So H star and Z star then represent uh, optimal levels of health and of non-health uh, utility producing activities for this individual. So there are some like exotic preferences and indifference curves out there. Not that they're common, but just that they're kind of theoretically possible and can help us understand what these curves mean. Let's say the person only cares about their health and so they want to be at exactly at point E. Uh, in this case, we have the perfectly vertical utility curves here, and that's because you're essentially all you're doing is picking an H. The only thing you care about is H, so you're really just moving your utility line, in this case, uh, along the x-axis, but it's really not in any way related to the Z. So you're just like moving it along H. That's why it's perfectly vertical. Still, U0 would not be maximizing your possible utility. Uh, U of 1 would be, would represent your um, you know maximum utility point. So H star would be at E and then Z star at zero. Um, and then U of two is still not possible. Okay, so on the flip side, you could have an individual who really just cares only about Z, who only cares about Z. Uh, in this case, their indifference curve is going to be perfectly horizontal uh, because Again, they only care about Z, so they're, they're just kind of moving their stick along Z. That's what they care about. U0, leaving it on the table. U1, tangential. Uh, point C is going to represent their maximum utility with Z star, H star uh, being their maximum utility. So you'll notice that in this case, when the person only cares about Z, still, H star is not at zero or even near zero. Because if you'll remember, in the free lunch zone, you can get more Z if you invest more in your health um, because you can take time away from being sick. So the person who cares only about Z is still going to be at point C and going to need to have to invest some amount in their health in order to maximize their Z. The next video, we'll talk about health as a stock.